Hey buddy, okay, so we're gonna talk about the new Reblium update. Uh, the main thing it concentrates on is easy export to Unreal Engine and some Blender in integrations and a lot of bug fixes. The nice thing now is that you can actually export the hair. So that's a big one, the groom and whatnot. So download Reblium, you'll get like a, an email, download it, extract it, wherever you extract it to, that's exactly where you're going to start from. That's that is your installation folder. You can place that wherever you want and just run the execute. From there, uh, you get the SDK for Unreal Engine, and this is really easy to use as well. Uh, there's a lot of documentation on everything right there. But what you do is you open up a project, and in your project, there should be a folder called plugins. If there's not, just create it, and all you got to do is drag and drop the right Unreal Engine version, open it up, take the Reblium SDK and chuck it inside your plugins. And that's it, it's all done. Once you open up Unreal, you can go to settings, plugins, and just check if your Reblium uh, SDK is there. It should be loaded already, so that's all good. And the next thing you need to do is go to your project settings and just type in skin uh, caching and just check that that's on. And you're good to go right all working you can start up reblium now there's not a lot of new things here except for support for everything for unreal engine and a better integration for blender so that does make it a program that you can work with now look it's not praising anyone because this should have been in the release but at least it's there now and it makes it usable uh, so i'm happy about that so what you do is you click on the little R there. Once you've saved out a character from Reblium, you just save out the avatar. And once you've done that, it'll create one of these files, DHS. You just got to open it up and it'll import all, everything you need for it. Now, uh, you get a little blueprint there. You get your skeleton, your bob, you get everything there that you need. The blueprint is set up with your groom and everything else, just like a metahuman. So that is pretty damn cool. And there we go. The one thing I'm still not happy about is that you can export a 4K texture, but it's everything, which means it's low resolution. I'm happy the, the groom is working now, so that's great. It's really easy to bring in characters into Unreal Engine now, which is fantastic. You can set it up with the rig. You can do whatever you want. This is just a quick one to get you started and see what's new. But... It is all there now, which is great. Uh, it does help a lot. The quality of the characters are fine, but here's my issue. Everything is on one 4K map, and I don't like this, man. Please give us options. Uh, this is not good. This still doesn't allow us for really high-resolution detailed work. This needs to be fixed. This is a big one. And then this becomes really usable. Now there's a sample project in the documentation. It teaches you how to use it. You just download the sample project. You uh, unzip it, which is totally fine. And this is using your R kit, right? So everything's built into here. You can open it. If you double click it, uh, it'll, it'll ask you if you're using a wrong Unreal version. It'll say to you, what do you want to use this for? Uh, to get past this, all you've got to do is uh, you just cancel it, don't open it, take your your uh, plugin from the SDK that you downloaded before for Unreal, and you're just going to bring it into the plugins folder of that, of that sample project, and that's it. Uh, so that's easy enough, and then you can start the project, Ari, start it, it'll work, it'll work, fine. So, this is how to add an arc kit to your character. You once again, you open up just any of your characters that you've made. All good. Um, and open up a character, the DHS file or whatever the, that unique file is for them. It'll give you all that crap, and that's fine. So you've got your character inside that you've imported the project. And now if you go to Assets, Art Kit, you'll see that little Art Kit, that first one there with the character. Double click it. It'll ask you, uh, add a character to it, just say yes, and pick the skeleton of your 
uh, Revlim character and say, okay, now the ARCHID is attached to your Revlim character. Now there's a lot of, uh, okay, so you can use ARCHID with it now, which is awesome. There's a lot of documentation on this, so that's another nice thing. They've upgraded their documentation and things are looking good. So let's see, man. You know, it's, it's, I think this is a, a major update for for this this should have been in here on release let's be honest but now if we can start getting different map textures uh there's a lot that needs to be added i really want that ai generator to be added back in that was a great little uh novelty but anyway thanks for joining me hope this helps and speak to you soon bye guys